imagine um, a photo exhibit. So you walk in, you have the photography displayed on the walls, but next to each photograph, you would also have the poetry displayed. And then by those two art forms, you would also have headphones. So you can, you know, put on the headphones, listen to the particular track and kind of escape into that room. is about merging three different art forms and expressing one story and um, one body of work in those three different art forms. So as I was creating Room in a Room, um, obviously I started with the music, you know, being a singer and a songwriter and a producer, that's where it all started off. But then I had this idea or I think the desire to kind of make it bigger and I wanted to explore um, what I had created from a different angle and from, from a different point of view. And so I decided first and foremost to regard the music as a separate entity or art form and to kind of disconnect um, the lyrics that this music had and also regard it and highlight it as, you know, the separate art form that it is, which is poetry. And then I wanted to include um, something visual, which is now photography. So what we've done is again taking this idea of room in a room very literal and decided to build or set up a room which is you know not necessarily a physical room but let's say a space that really represents the story or the emotion or the message that entailed that one particular song so we've done that with every single song and then we shot a photograph and the idea is basically that i wanted all the art forms so the music and the poetry and the photography to really speak for itself. So even if you just looked at the picture, that somehow an emotion is transmitted or the story even is transmitted that would be transmitted the same way if you just listened to the music or if you just read the poetry. So this is um, what Room in a Room is about. And it really allowed me to you know, collaborate with other African um, females on this project, which was really exciting to also, again, amplify this experience of life, you know, from the perspective of a Black African female. Um, our Room in a Room virtual gallery is, again, the idea of how can I, you know, multiply or amplify whatever it is I had to say um, in the music. And... Initially, I wanted to make an exhibition of this project. So imagine um, a photo exhibit. So you walk in, you have the photography displayed on the walls, but next to each photograph, you would also have the poetry displayed. And then by those two art forms, you would also have headphones. So you can, you know, put on the headphones, listen to the particular track and kind of escape into that room. And um, obviously we weren't able or, you know, the times kind of restricted our physical exhibition. Um, but it allowed me to take this whole idea into the virtual space, which is, I think, even an asset because now everybody in the whole wide world is able to access it, right? So we're creating this virtual gallery where literally you can, we try to kind of, in a way, be inspired by the physical space so you can see the photography while you listen to the music and while you read the um, poetry as well and as a like as a visitor to this gallery you have the freedom um, to choose the order so just like in the physical space you can choose to either go by the order we suggest or you can skip some songs you can go to whatever feels um, interesting or seems interesting to you um, and yeah, that way we just kind of allow you to, you know, explore the rooms on your own terms kind of thing. So the next thing um, that we've also done in this virtual gallery or that was inspired by this virtual gallery is to translate the whole project into five different languages. So why I wanted to do that is because I really wanted to pay homage to, um, you know, all the countries I've been to, all the cultures that impact me and that inhabit me, but also kind of to be able to connect to all the people that I've met along all of those journeys. 
And um, one particular person that is always asking me to please translate my lyrics is my mom because she actually doesn't speak English. So for me, that was a trigger to think about that a little bit more and think of, you know, the different people and again, cultures and countries um, that I relate to, to give them also a chance to relate to me in the same way. So what we've done, um, the first language that I've chosen is obviously Kirundi, um, which is my actual and natural mother tongue, which I'm not fluent in, but still I wanted to be able to connect to my people and it was important to me. So then the next one is um, obvious English. Then we have German, we have French, we have Spanish, and we have Japanese. Um, so I'm very excited to be able to share the project um, virtually, globally, and multilingually in this yeah, way. It's very special. Too.